the kids are in the garage in the cars because they're supposed to be cleaning them out, but they're just playing. So we're gonna push the panic button and just totally freak them out. I think this is like everybody's favorite, <laughs> favorite season. We're on our way to a pumpkin patch. We're just gonna go hang out the rest of the evening. I heard there's some kind of pig racing going on and pick out some pumpkins because we haven't really decorated at all for fall. <laughs> Get in. Park right here. Are you gonna go on the horse? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get your ticket. There are five tickets for the horses. Ready to uh, pick a pumpkin? Yes. Okay. Okay. Look at this pumpkin. I mean, I don't know what kind of pumpkin happened here. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Well, this one looks like a dove. <laughs> oh, wait, where it does? This is a tooth. The baby was crying, so I had to pick it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and get rid of our pumpkin and then we're gonna go up to the top of the hill where they have a lot of cool stuff up there oh yeah the pig racing Jaila I forgot about that I think the pig racing has already started so I don't know maybe they'll have a couple races that we can catch I don't know where the keys are I think I see something I hear it no wrong <laughs> keys <laughs> oh my word that's hilarious <laughs> look how fun the colors are Dude, can you see that up there? It is just like all lit up. It's so pretty out there. So there's a slight possibility we might have missed the pig races. I don't know. Do you hear the piggies? Oh, we're there, dude. Oh, I hear them complaining. Micah, do you hear the pigs? Oh, oh my What are they eating? Oh. Are you okay? What do they eat? Do you see the piggies in there? Yeah. They won't eat you. <laughs> Was that the one you chose? Yeah. I chose the two. You chose that one, no, Fee? Is that all of our tickets? <laughs> I think so. Ready? Ready. I don't know. 
I just think it's important that we do make this video um, to bring awareness to other parents that when a situation like this comes up, there isn't panic. I mean, when it happened to us, when it happened to Jeremiah, it was very scary. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. Why am I getting emotional now? <laughs> See, this is why I don't like doing things. I don't like being emotional, okay? Why is it harder talking like this? It's because, like, we took forever to sit down. <laughs> <gasps> I don't like thinking about it. Um, I was in my room, and out of nowhere, I heard Savannah say, Michael. I've never heard her say it so loud and so much in fear in my life. I ran out into the hallway, and Savannah was on the other side coming toward me with Jeremiah in her arms and I could see that his whole body was just pale. His eyes were rolled in the back of his head and his body was just limp. Just a regular day putting Jeremiah down for his nap. I took Jeremiah in his room, he was just kind of grouchy. I put him in the crib and he got really upset about that and he started crying. So you know when babies cry, they usually have this long pause of just like this silent before the loud scream, like everybody's always like, wait for it, and then you hear the scream. As I was leaving the room, I was waiting for it. Um, he didn't do that. So I went back into the room, just kind of like, okay, what's going on? Why isn't he breathing? He had like this panicked look on his face. I grabbed him out of the crib and blew in his face because that normally will make him breathe in the air again. And he's normally fine, but this time it didn't work. Um, he wasn't um, reacting to that, and it seemed like it was going downhill super fast, like... <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. I... Jeremiah started losing color, like, fast. Like, he went from the normal, when people hold their breath, like, red, to, like, purple blue his lips were like totally like purple his body started reacting to not having oxygen and um kind of having these seizure like jolts um and body kind of a stiffer hunched over a little bit trying to i could just see it in his face he's trying to get air and has like a panic <laughs> oh, i got a little farther this time <laughs> This is obviously not an easy story to tell. I called for Mike because I have ran out of ideas really quick on how to get him to start breathing again. So I rush him um, down the hall through our house and Mike comes out, I shout out, he's not choking, he's having like a panic attack and I cannot get him to take in a breath. He's not breathing. And that's as fast as I could say it to Mike as he's grabbing Jeremiah. He takes him and holds him um, kind of upside down, like at a slope, like as if he was choking, starts patting his back. As I lifted him up, he started getting a little color back. It was such a long time from when I saw him, from when Mike had him. I took Jeremiah to the doctors to get him checked out and the doctor diagnosed him with breath holding spells. Found out it's common in babies to hold their breath out of their control to the point of passing out and they will have like seizure like symptoms. The only way really for them to uh, reboot or to get air is to pass out. The doctor said when they get caught into this, make sure they're in a safe spot. So if they do pass out, they're completely safe. I guess the point that we were making this is to bring awareness to breath holding spells. It's very good to know for anybody. And I know something like this happens, we're aware. <laughs> <Back here>. <laughs> 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 I'm here to I'm here to